be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven, Godspeed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Rancangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kehadapan schedule. If the law is so for Jesus, think the works properly. It closes as soon as food passes through the esophagus and enters the stomach. However, if the sphincter doesn't work properly, contents in the stomach can travel back up the esophagus. This can lead to a burning sensation in one's chest that is often referred to as heartburn. Healthy lifestyle. Farewell to heartburn. Continue watching to find out more. Vegan, thanks for being wise. Mwai Seni means welcome in Bemba, one of the eight official languages of Zambia. Amazing viewers, my name is Gani Zani. The charming people of Zambia pray that the peaceful vegan diet brightens your life. In today's show, Healthy Lifestyle, Farewell to Heartburn, we will find out how we can prevent heartburn and related conditions. Some of us might have experienced our stomach contents backing up into the esophagus, known as acid reflux. You may have also heard about gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD, but don't let it confuse you. GERD refers to the chronic, more severe form of acid reflux, which occurs two or more times a week for several consecutive weeks. As we eat, food travels from the mouth down the esophagus, which is a tube that connects the back of our mouth to the stomach. As the food moves downward, there is an opening between the esophagus and the stomach. This juncture is known as the lower esophageal sphincter that enables food to enter the stomach. If the lower esophageal sphincter works properly, it closes as soon as food passes through the esophagus and enters the stomach. However, if the sphincter doesn't work properly, contents in the stomach can travel back up the esophagus. This can lead to a burning sensation in one's chest that is often referred to as heartburn. Some people experience acid reflux occasionally. Sometimes they don't even notice it when it happens. In some cases, acid reflux may happen after eating a large meal, but the symptoms can be mild. In other cases, it can happen more frequently and may indicate GERD. Not everyone with acid reflux will experience heartburn. In addition to irritation in the chest and back of the throat, some people may not experience any symptoms, while others may have other symptoms such as nausea, difficulty or pain in swallowing, a hoarse voice, etc. Adults with GERD may also experience additional symptoms such as cavities, chronic sore throat, bad breath, inflammation of the gums, and so on. Occasionally, symptoms of heartburn may be mistaken for a heart attack. If your heartburn discomfort worsens and is accompanied by pain in your arm or jaw, difficulty breathing or sweating, you should go seek medical treatment immediately. Dr. James East, a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic Healthcare in London, UK, explains the reason why acid reflux can potentially lead to health complications. The stomach is well designed to handle highly acidic conditions, but the esophagus is not designed to cope with acid. And so, when acid comes up, that acid reflux damages the cells, replacing them with more acid-resistant cells that develop into Barrett's esophagus. Frequent heartburn may be a sign of Barrett's esophagus, but many people with this condition have no symptoms. According to the American Cancer Society, 
those with Barrett's esophagus are at a higher risk for developing esophageal cancer. However, the cancer risk for most with the condition is small. More importantly, people diagnosed with Barrett's esophagus should have regular checkups with their doctor. Other complications of GERD include the reflux of fluid into the airways. This can potentially cause choking, coughing, or even pneumonia. In some patients, reflux of stomach acid may even exacerbate asthma symptoms. Hence, undergoing treatment for GERD may help improve asthma symptoms in those whose asthma is triggered by reflux. GERD is associated with certain lifestyle factors. Although there are prescribed medications for reducing stomach acid or improving lower esophageal sphincter function to reduce the chances of acid reflux, the best place to start is to examine your habits that may be causing or worsening the condition. Here are a few you might recognize. 1. Smoking Smoking is linked to an increased risk of developing GERD. Research has shown that people who quit or reduce tobacco smoking were three times more likely to suffer less from heartburn symptoms. 2. Being overweight or obese Obesity is one of the major contributing risk factors to GERD and is associated with a myriad of conditions that might cause GERD, such as elevated abdominal pressure, impaired gastric emptying, and increased esophageal acid exposure. 3. Taking certain medications According to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases in the U.S., Medications such as aspirin, ibuprofen, sedatives, and blood pressure medications may also boost the chances of heartburn. 4. Anxiety and Stress Several studies have found that there may be a link between anxiety and increased symptoms associated with GERD. Research suggests that anxiety may make a person more sensitive to pain and other symptoms of GERD. A famous saying in medicine goes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. This perfectly points out the importance of establishing good lifestyle habits, including quitting smoking and refraining from drinking alcohol. Even losing a small amount of weight can help lower the risk of acid reflux. Other lifestyle changes may be beneficial for preventing acid reflux. These include avoiding lying down right after a meal, eating smaller meals throughout the day, wearing loose-fitting clothing to avoid adding pressure on your stomach, and using a wedge pillow to elevate your upper torso to prevent stomach contents from moving up. Lying down right after a meal can cause stomach fluid to move towards the esophagus. Keeping our shoulders, back, and spine straight expands the space for organs such as the stomach. Hence, maintaining an upright posture helps keep gastric acid in the stomach, helping prevent the symptoms of GERD. Eating more than 3 hours before going to bed gives time for food to digest and move through the stomach and into the intestines. Additionally, chewing food thoroughly is another tip to help reduce acid reflux. One of the most important things you can do is really chew your food, explains Dr. Sue Mitchell, a gastroenterologist in the United States. She adds, when your food enters your stomach in more of a liquid form, that means your stomach doesn't need to work as hard to break it down. The quicker it leaves your stomach, the less likely you are to have heartburn. In America alone, GERD affects an estimated 15 to 30 percent of the population and was responsible for 4.7 million hospitalizations in 2010. Diet also plays a key role in the prevention of acid reflux. Dr. Michael Greger, vegan, explains the association between GERD and eating animal people meat. 
Based on a study of 3,000 people, the consumption of non-vegetarian foods was an independent predictor of GERD, which in this study in India presumably included eggs, which are considered non-vegetarian. Egg yolks appear to increase uh, this hormone called cholecystokinin, induces this increase, uh, which may overly relax the sphincter that separates the esophagus from the stomach. The same hormone is increased by meat, which may help explain why vegetarianism appeared to be a protective factor for reflux esophagitis. Researchers found that those eating meat had twice the odds of reflux-induced esophageal inflammation. Although there isn't a single diet that has been proven to prevent GERD, scientific evidence has discovered that certain foods may improve symptoms in some people. For example, eating fruits and vegetables that are rich in fiber may protect against GERD, as high-fiber foods can make one feel satiated. Individuals who consume fibrous foods will be less likely to overeat. Hence, the risk of experiencing heartburn is also lower besides helping with GERD symptoms. Fiber-rich veggies and fruits can help reduce the chances of high cholesterol, diabetes, and constipation. So, load yourself up on healthy fiber from these foods. You may try whole grains such as oatmeal and brown rice, root vegetables such as sweet potatoes, carrots, and beets, and green vegetables such as broccoli and green beans are also wonderful choices. Eating watery foods that are high in water content may help dilute and weaken gastric acid, thus easing the symptoms of acid reflux. Examples of watery foods include celery, cucumber, lettuce, and watermelon, etc. When you choose to eat a plant-based diet, you are eliminating fatty animal people meat and dairy products that are strongly linked to poor digestion. More importantly, the increased intake of fiber, which is often lacking in a diet high in proteins and byproducts of animal people, promotes gut health and protects the esophagus from acid exposure. We hope that consuming a vegan diet packed with phytonutrients and antioxidants will help you stay clear of heartburn and other complications caused by acid reflux. By acknowledging that non-human animals are people, persons with personalities, needs, and emotions, humans will eventually cease from treating them as mere commodities. Lila Marquez, Vegan Fabulous viewers! Thank you for your company today on our program. Up next is Selflessness and Humility, Part 4 of 12, on Between Master and Disciples. May the divine light of heaven bless you and light your days always. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash HL.